am a sculptor that focuses mainly on creating art for public places. I began as a child that could draw very well. I started painting in high school and I decided to try sculpting and it came like magic. I mean, I've been doing it now for 25 years, but at the beginning, I was freaked out about it like everybody else is kind of freaked out, like, oh my God, look what I made. This is my first sculpture ever. This was the beginning of the love affair. It's like, oh, One of the first things that really struck me was the void of diversity in public art. I'm not seeing women. I'm not seeing women of color. And so I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is what you're gonna do. And I, I have a real sense of purpose and I wrote a proposal to the city of Yonkers to do Ella Fitzgerald. I thought that she would be an inspirational homegirl for us to celebrate, and the city said yes. It was the unveiling of the Ella Fitzgerald sculpture. These two little old ladies crying turns out to be her girlfriends. They say, it's her, it's her, like you captured her. It made me feel like I did the right thing and I decided to do enslaved Africans, um, my goal was to humanize them, make people understand that they had thoughts, feelings, dreams, goals. There hasn't been a lot of work about people of color just being people. I've been working on her at this point probably for seven months now. So Journal Truth was very much involved in the women's suffrage movement in New York. And this is one of the reasons why I think she was selected for Poughkeepsie, because we wanted to celebrate her. This is 2020, the year of the woman. Everybody's thinking about changing the narratives because our values have changed. Public art is a reflection of the value of the community. When people look at my entire portfolio of artwork, each work should have some significance, make some very strong statement. This one says faith hope, trust. Because of the impact and the response that I get to my work, it just makes me feel like this is what I'm here to do. I will continue to try to do it until my body won't let me anymore. I'm too old. And I hope that in the end, I leave a legacy for my race as well as for myself as an individual. <laughs>